In this era, we must take good care of ourselves and protect ourselves. Those who can protect themselves must read and recite the scriptures every day, think about the meaning of the scriptures, and practice according to the teachings. Our body, speech, and mind will not make mistakes. I have samadhi and wisdom, and I won't be distracted by external realms. The world-honored one told us in the Sharangama Sutra that in the Dharma ending period, in our era, the teachings of evil teachers are like the sands of the Ganges River. What are evil teachers, can you recognize or not? Our six sense organs are in contact with the outside realm, and anyone who can tempt us, confuse us, and make us leave the Dharma is an evil teacher. If you go around the market and look at the new products, you will be tempted when you see them. You will become greedy, and you will get a sense of gain and loss. Those are evil masters. It is not a person who talks to be an evil master, but what is presented in front of our eyes are all evil masters. Movies, TV, some advertisements, even when we are walking on the road now, look at the t-shirt that the young man is wearing. The pattern is all demons and ghosts, and they are all evil masters, which makes you tempted. You need to know what is the greatest evil master, the greatest demon king? Television. Those programs shown on TV, including violence, pornography, demons and ghosts. Let these young children watch it every day, and all of them are caught by the devil. That is what evil masters say. Is there a way to prevent this? There is no way to prevent it. Especially now in foreign countries, especially in the United States, I am more aware of this place. American elementary school students use computers. And use computers for homework. Every student has his own computer. There are all kinds of programs on the computer. And they can receive any program, so in his mind, there are all kinds of weird ones. If they watch too much, listen to it too much. Parents have no way to teach, teachers have no way to teach, they understand more than you, so if there is something they imitate, can it still be taught? What was the first element to perish? Mr. Fang said without hesitation, TV. There were no computers at that time. Computers, TVs, when these things are turned on, it is the teaching of evil masters. Do you think it's worth it? So I advise fellow practitioners, if you really want to protect yourself, don't read newspapers, listen to the radio, or watch TV. Don't go to unnecessary places. The old venerable used to teach us, no few things, afflict little. Things that are not necessary to know should not be heard, do not need to know, so the mind will be pure. Know people and know more about right and wrong. In ancient times, the environment for studying was in the mountains. When you go to China, the ashrams are all built in the mountains. If you want to go to the ashrams, you have to walk for several days. If you don't have the sincerity, you won't go. Therefore, the ashram for practitioners is called, Lan Ruo. Lan Ruo means, Alan Ruo, in Indian, which means a quiet place in Chinese, and it is a very pure environment. But now that the transportation is convenient, the Chinese avenues have opened roads to go up, and there are endless streams of tourists. How can that ashram practice? There is no way to practice, and it has become a tourist attraction. Looking at it from the perspective of modern economy, it is very good, and I agree with it. When I met Mr. Park, I told him, okay, what's wrong with earning foreign exchange for the country? Good thing. A true spiritual practice must be built, we find another place where no one goes to build a ashram, modernize schools, and build a modernized retirement village for the elderly. In my early years, I advocated Amitabha village, which is a new type of Taoist temple in the 21st century. 
The ancient Taoist temple should take it as a sightseeing tour, as an opportunity to educate and save all living beings, which is a measurable merit. Therefore, you must understand how to uphold. Protecting must have concentration. Must have wisdom. Without concentration wisdom, it is impossible to talk about Dharma protection.